I think what's at the heart of the story, there are two main things really, I and mean, there is, we're in some sense we're using Panty's story and Panty's journey from being this drag queen in Tokyo to coming back and starting a whole drag scene in Ireland and then becoming very, very involved in the fight for equality, which is a very interesting story, I think, in itself, but it also is, I think, a great way of illustrating how quickly and how much Ireland has changed over the last number of years to the point where a few short years ago it was very much a kind of very Catholic country and a very conservative country and now it has taken this giant drag queen to its heart as a symbol of all that is really good about Irishness which is a remarkable thing and I think a, a really wonderful thing for all of us. And the other thing it's, it's, it's about is just the film is really saying it's okay to be yourself. The story of Ireland and how Ireland has changed since we only decriminalised sex between men in 1993 to full and total equality under the law last year. It's an inspiring story for people in other parts of the world. Um, I think if you're you know, a gay or lesbian or bisexual transgender and you're in Sarajevo, it's really tough and it is really difficult. But I think if you see this film, it's, it, it, what it tells you is change is actually possible and change can happen really quickly and change can come from the most unlikely places. Um, and, and in other places, I hope people you know, look at it and come away thinking that the, the personal really is political and I individuals have the power to change things, sometimes in the most unexpected ways and when they least expect it. None of us knew when we first started five years ago how long this particular project would take or indeed the, the shape that it would end up taking either. Um, we didn't foresee the trouble that Rory and Panty would get into and the way in which Panty got out of that trouble with an amazing speech from the stage of the, the Abbey Theatre in Dublin. And then, you know, there was no uh, question of having marriage equality, particularly when we started the film five years ago. At that point, people were talking about civil partnership. So events happened very quickly and we were very lucky to be there with a the camera as they happened in front of us. I just started to feel different than the other boys. I didn't really enjoy the same things that they did. I don't think it's been easy to be my parents over the years. I brought a lot of nuttery to their door, you know, I would, to tell them I was gay. And, you know, and they're from a very tiny village in the west of Ireland. My dad's 81, my mother is coming up on 80 very traditional Catholic background. My mother goes to Mass every day, you know, and gives out communion in the church. So first of all, to, you know, for me to be telling them I was gay, then later telling them I was HIV positive, and of course I'm all this way, I'm making a living dressing up as a giant cartoon woman. I mean, it was really far outside of their ken, if you know what I mean, and I think a lot to, to deal with. But then over the years, as Panty became better known or whatever, and then I think then, you know, they sort of understood it finally and they're very proud now and the film experience has been lovely for them because you know they get letters from all around the world and people stop them in the street to say nice things and you know so I think it's been nice for me to bring something nice to my parents after all of these years. We are on the cusp of significant change that goes be way beyond just simply giving marriage rights to gay people. I think the future for like young LGBT people is incredible now in this country. I remember when we first approached Rory and asked him about being in the documentary and he was not terribly keen on the idea but because we had a good working relationship and partly because I had a background as a fashion photographer, he said, well, at least he looked pretty, you know, so that'll, that'll help. But he, uh, it was only shortly before we went back to Ballon Road that I remembered in that first conversation, he had said to me, now, you're not going to ask me to walk down the street in Ballon Road wearing a dress, are you? I said, that's the last thing I'll ask you to do. And it was. How did this happen? It's nuts. Nuts. <laughs>